Hello guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to add in a camera target. So, um, a camera target is something that will control the camera's r rotation. So, for example, if you wanted to rotate this camera right now, let's say uh, to rotate it, I would have to go, um, I would have to click R or something or I'd have to go to lock camera to view and rotate this like this but with this uh, way that I'm going to be showing you it's going to be a little bit easier to rotate the camera so yeah <clears throat> so how you do it is by let's do this cube first and now you want to add in an empty you scene so go down to empty and to make uh, okay right there arrows and I will just move this down here or sorry okay let's first set our ca uh, cursor to the center and then we can add in a uh, lane axis or arrows or anything from the empty so yeah <clears throat> after you have done that just get rid of this okay so after you have done that all you have to do is select the camera and then this uh, these empty here it's empty okay so you hit sorry you hit control T and then you just click on track to constraint and then after you have done that you will see this dotted blue line I don't know if you can see it but it's right here this dotted blue, blue line and what this thing is is just uh, something that shows you what's gonna be okay let's just say there's a dotted blue line okay so yeah okay so now if I select this thing yep okay right here and if I grab it you'll see that the camera moves with it like it rotates with it so yeah that's very useful for animation and uh, yeah so that's how you do it and there's also one more way if you don't use the control T thing so the other way is this you select the camera first go into the object constraint tab and let's just delete this okay so here let's just add another empty so where's that okay in axis okay, not that. okay so let's add in some arrows okay now let's select this camera and go down to track to <clears throat> and then you'll see this dotted blue line again and then you'll just select the target to the empty and now you all you see is that the camera rotates like it's all messed up so to fix that you have to set this thing up so like the axis so which one works good so now if I grab this the camera doesn't rotate so that means it will be negative of x and the other value will be y and now if I do it the camera rotates there so <clears throat> yeah so these are the two ways to do it I prefer just hitting selecting this and then hitting control T and crack to constraint that makes it very easy and uh, yeah that's it thank you for watching and have a great day